The tranquility that blankets the highlands of western Panama can give way to a peculiar sound. This symphony of slurps is how coffee grower Ratibor Hartman, his son Ratibor Jr., and Ellen Fan, a coffee importer from China, search for the best tasting brew. Very interesting. Coffee is juicy. Yes. It's, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's more like a fruity, juicy, sweet cup. Like I got a fruity notes like candy and uh, like grapes. The unusual slurping noise they're all making does have a purpose. It actually aerates the coffee and spreads it around on the palate. This is the latest offering from Hartman's estate. Helen, please. Or finca in Spanish. Hola, muchacho. One that he was all too eager to show us, more than 5,000 feet up. Mira, mira esto. Wow. Mira. Eso, esto es lo especial. This is what's special, he says. It's where Earth meets heaven. The altitude and volcanic soil make it the perfect place to grow Panama's famous geisha coffee. Mira, el viento del Pacifico. He points out that Panama is narrow enough that breezes from both the Pacific and the Caribbean grace these slopes. There's no place on Earth like this. Es mystico. For you, es this mi is magic. Es magical. 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 So much so that Fan flew thousands of miles to see it. So it's safe to say that there's no place on Earth quite like this when it comes to growing this type of coffee. Yes, I agree. Like this varieto, like Panamanian geisha is the best. This is it. Yes. You might think the name geisha comes from Japan, but it's a misspelling of Gesha, the region of Ethiopia where this particular bean originates, a misspelling that for some reason stuck. And geisha might not have taken root if it weren't for an experiment by Price Peterson and his family at Hacienda La Esmeralda. They noticed geisha bushes could survive some unfavorable weather. That inclined us even more like, okay, we have this variety in the seed beds. We're trusting it. Let's try it. And uh, we planted it at the higher altitude. That yielded a coffee unlike any they tasted. In 2004, they entered it into the Best of Panama competition. It was no competition. Judges, international judges, that had been exposed to coffees around the world fell in love with it and gave it on the scoring above a 90. Daniel and Rachel Peterson have been working to top that ever since, experimenting with different varieties, fermentations, drying methods, you name it. Is all of the coffee we're looking at here already spoken for? It is. Here, yes. Wow. This year, absolutely. The limited supply and meticulous handling have fetched more than $1,000 a pound for their most valuable batch. Mm. The Petersons were nice enough to allow even one with a self-admittedly unsophisticated palate take in the floral aromas and taste the notes of cherries and tropical fruit. Yep. I'm still number three. Uh, this three is just a nice complex coffee all the way through. 100%. They share that pride with many in the nearby city of Boquete, which now adds geisha to the list of draws for tourists, says renowned Panamanian chef Charlie Collins. Business has increased. It's been very good for the community of Boquete, but it's also been very good for Panama. And for one of his baristas, Kenneth Duarte, who has learned the fine art of brewing it. You say this coffee is open doors for somebody who wants to grow their own coffee yeah. or become a world-renowned barista? Yeah. Someone like you? Exactly. Those are ambitions? Yes. That's something you want to do? Yeah. Just remember that though friendly, the competition to grow the next best cup is intense. Which brings us back to Finca Hartman and the slurping. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ellen Fan just selected so one of their latest experiments as the best of this batch, his next contender. He also wanted us to take in the aromas in his dehydration room, where he lights up, wondering where these beans will go. Poner un café de esta zona del campo a una persona en Francia. To put our coffee before someone in France, he says, in Italy, a person in Japan, in Hong Kong, it's a pleasure. It fills us with pride, a pride that is truly homegrown. For CBS Saturday Morning, 
Manuel Bohorquez, Renacimiento, Panama.